No one is ever allowed to talk bad about me. I do all the bad talking about others! Get a sense of Queen of Spades and what she's about. This is her, this is the email she sent me the past four days. This is my family's address right here. This is my family's address down here, okay? Just so you guys can see that. Uh, my family's address, what she thinks is my number right here. So yeah, she's just, you know, emailing all this stuff to me. What she thinks is my number, then my address, that my old address, my family's address. So yeah, I don't know, that's not crazy or anything like that. That's not, that's not crazy, right? No. This is her, this is the email she sent me the past four days. This is her. This is the email she sent me the past four days. This is the email she sent me the past four days. This is the email she sent me the past four days. That's four days. That's four days. That's four days. Really? Did you actually show emails from ages ago and then try to say they were from the last few days? And take out a lot of the context of it and th all the emails back? That was interesting. Emails from the last six days, not four, six. So I'm giving you a chance to come on panel and say your side. Are you around? Let's end this drama. Go fuck yourself. Stop stalking me with suit and all those creeps like Jesse and Phoenix and Heartbeats man Vanity. End of drama. Leave me alone and don't ever write me again. I do not want anything to do with you ever again. After what you have all done to me, you have some nerve. F off. I'm here trying to help you because you keep acting like other people talking about you is somehow me. Newsflash, it isn't. People support me, so they talk about you because you talk bad about me. No one is ever allowed to talk bad about me. I do all the bad talking about others. Oh, well, I was trying to try to. I was trying to give you a chance to come on and squash this. Like, what are we squashing? There is nothing to squash. Leave me and my family alone. The end! <laughs> very, very simple. If you want people to talk shit, then you have no one to blame but yourself. If you don't come on my stream, we are all going to forever talk shit about you. Because you have to be okay with me if you want to be on YouTube. If you are not okay with me, and you and I are not friends, you cannot exist on here! One day ago. What is wrong with you? You are giving out my family's address now, and you wonder why you get attacked? I tried telling you to stop with the bullshit, but instead you go ev 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 everywhere. I go tr t t trying to in in instigate sh sh shit. Sorry, I should I be reading it like him? Or probably not, hey? If you think some rinky-dink channel is going to take me down, then you are more delusional than I thought. You know, it's funny, I actually never talk about you or tell people to talk about you. I banned your name in Discord, but you lash out and lie and say I'm harassing you. I've had enough. Now you have pushed the wrong buttons. Oh no. Now you are gonna be a topic for real. For real though? Like, you're gonna actually tell the real story? No. We already messed that up, didn't we? I'm done with your bullshit and lies. You had a chance to stop, but you continued. What were my lies? That I just wanted Phoenix and Sue and all your psychos to leave me alone after I left? Okay. I haven't done shit to any of you. You all get triggered when I write a post on Facebook about you in response to a 12-hour live stream you do about me. You just, you can't take the heat, but you really want to live in that kitchen. Keep sitting on Twitter with Negs and the professor in suit to make memes of my husband. You're pathetic and jealous. It's really sad to see you engaging with that. Tell Sue you better take the tip out. H-bomb is going in dry. Stop emailing me and stalking my man, you creep. And now Nags is stalking him. Because I just got an email from Nags all like, Who does he mod for? I'm going to find out. I'm going to go and tell his... I don't know why. They're just... They're sad. You really think some nobody is going to do something? He is more irrelevant than you. If you think I'm not going to keep going at you now. But remember, 
he wasn't going at me to begin with, right? So if I think he's not going to keep doing what he apparently wasn't doing before, then I'm wrong. I know, make that make sense. <laughs> you have annoyed me long enough. Because I won't stream with you every time you ask? Okay. I got you, queen, though. You won't be able to go anywhere without p p people knowing who and what you are. And you n say, n say, n you n say, I'm trying so hard. Stop emailing you. You emailed me every day for months, you nutcase. No, I really didn't. Every day for months, huh? Okay. You've done everything to me that uh, Heartbeat's vanity claims was done to her by someone else. I never did anything to you ever. I asked who you were, got attacked, then spent months sticking up for you. You in turn sent a bunch of people to attack me, lied to me, lied to me about all of it, and then don't want to take responsibility so you have everyone attack me. The only thing that made me nuts was sticking up for you ever and thinking you were who you told me you were. And I'll stand by that till the day I die. That was the most nuts I ever was. And ever will be. I was going through a lot. A lot of really bad things at that time. Trust me. As a woman, you would have to be in a very, very bad place to put up with any of these people's crap. <laughs> By the way, I'm not tushy and witchy things. You revenge porn stream me, there will be no videos and streams, just your ass in jail charge. Canada takes it far more seriously than the US and no apology will ever bring me back, bring me on a stream or make me ever want to talk to any of you ever again. I have tried to make that so clear and apparently all you hear I don't know what you hear a apparently you you hear me confessing undying love for CJ when I say go away fuck off I don't want anything to do with you people and I don't care because that's how warped your brains are and that's how much of a hold he has on you I'm just glad that I always ask questions and I wasn't the type of person that just went along with whatever the fuck you're gonna say like oh yeah sure stream somebody's suicide we should definitely bully people out here that's a great idea sorry that you're all like that and I don't want to deal with any of you either again leave me alone I have nothing to do with why everybody hates you I have nothing to do with the drama that's gone on in that community for three years Stop trying to attach it to me and stop digging through my life and contacting people from, like, my high school. You literally have gone to my Facebook and, like, written people. It's creepy. Stop doing that. Stop making accounts of my ex-boyfriends. I'm not sitting here doing things like that to any of you. Haven't. Don't even watch this. Unless you bring up my name, and then I have a bunch of people that are like, oh, these are fucking threatening you. Heartbeats Vanity's threatening you on a live stream right now. That's interesting. Like, out of nowhere. After she's on 12-hour live streams talking about me and my life, judging me for my mental health, judging me on my parenting, judging me on everything, and then she turns around and tries to play some kind of victim because a couple, like, five-minute videos were made about her by someone. But you can go up on 12-hour live streams and, like, dox people I went to high school with. With suit yourself? Like, really? Okay. Keep complaining about people doxing you. Well, you're the one actually doxing everyone all over the internet with Phoenix. And have been for years. It's funny. Everybody that leaves is apparently stalking these two and obsessed with him. It's been that way for three years. If I have to actually point that pattern out to the world, I honestly can't help you people. You're already pulled in by this dude way more than I ever was. So good luck to you.